Hey gamers, Don here from Need to Know, and today I'm taking a look at Even the Ocean on PS4. It's a puzzle platformer developed by a duo, um, Sean Han Tani and Marina Kitaka, and it was released originally on Steam back in 2016 and has finally made its way over to console. So as of August 2020, you can now play it on PS4, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Let's take a look. Now the whole gimmick with even the ocean is balance. You can see at the bottom of the screen here that there's energy, um, dark and light. The dark being purple and the light being green. Now what that energy does for you is affect the way that your body moves. Um, the dark energy is aligned horizontally <clears throat> and the light energy is aligned vertically. Now what that means is if you have more light energy in your system, you can actually jump higher and vice versa if you have more dark energy in your system you can actually run faster because that's a horizontal movement so that's pretty cool and it you'll use that to your benefit at some times and sometimes not so much to your benefit um because if you have too much of either energy if your energy goes one way or another your character actually dies because you know balance and everything it's yin and yang it's i'm sure there's a there's a moral there somewhere um now you're gonna meet see a lot of your standard puzzle platformer uh puzzles, switches that you set off, um, sliding puzzles where you move faster on ice, uh, platforms that'll move in a certain way, like platforms that'll follow you, platforms that you can push, platforms that are only activated by far off switches. So it's all standard fare, but it all works really well. Um, even the ocean does a really great job of introducing those along the entire course of the adventure. Like nothing is there for too long, nothing's there for too short a time. They just keep on steadily adding on aspects of puzzle solving and then in the final stages of the game they actually tie it all together really well so i enjoyed that um if you're not terribly good at puzzle platformers that's okay too they actually have options for those of us who maybe have a bit more challenge i'm not terribly good at puzzle platformers i'll be honest i'm awful at metroidvanias but i didn't find even the ocean to be too terribly difficult i found it to be just right now, for those of you who are still having difficulty, there's options for that. And I love when developers include these. And now these options do things like allow you to um, float instead of fall when you jump, make it a little easier to get around. Um, they add extra platforms. So again, easier to get around. They make it so that you won't die when you are overloaded with um, energies because certain times there are little traps set up that if you aren't paying too much attention to the world around you, you can get shot with a beam of light that will that will eradicate your energy. It'll shift it either dark or light and you'll instantly die. Now that won't be an issue if you make it so that you can't die. So really they gave you options that made it so you could tailor the gameplay experience and that to me is a definite plus. Now there's no voice acting, but the majority of Even the Ocean is told via these character exchanges. Um, the art style is hand-drawn, it looks really nice, and the music's really good as well. So it creates this atmosphere that is both engaging and also one that you become invested in, and you kind of have to because this is your typical um, an unlikely hero comes out of nowhere to save the day kind of story. Or is it? Now, what I liked most about the story, and I will avoid spoilers because I don't like spoilers, I can't imagine anyone does, um, it's it's one of those stories where the end makes you think. It's, it's you played through the about eight hours, depending on how good you are at um, puzzles and depending on how invested you are in the story, it takes you about eight hours, I'll say five or six um, at the lower end to complete the story. And it also takes you about that long to get the platinum. That's a different story. Anyway, um, so yeah, within the course of the story, you learn more about Aleph, about the world around you. And it really makes you start to question, like, does anything I do matter? Is it important that these petty things that I'm picking up on, like, it's just, it's just really good. I don't want to give it away, which you should definitely play if you like story-based games that have sort of weight in a message, in a meaning, this will be a game for you.
Also of note is the LGBTQ plus friendly cast. Um, Aleph, I'm pretty sure she's gay. It doesn't outright say it, but she is interested in another character. Um, she's also a character of color, so that's pretty important. And I know this is 2020, so that's a common theme, but keep in mind this game did come out back in 2016, so it probably wasn't revolutionary necessary at the time, but I am a lesbian of color, so I personally found this to be important. Of course, that might not jive as well with other people, but it's something to think of, something to support with your money. Cough, cough, get the game. Um, if I had to give this a score, because I do believe in numbers or a good way to reflect how well something does, it would be an 8 out of 10. Simply because the story is really good, the gameplay mechanics are very solid, they feel good. Um, moving around as Aleph, you are able to lock the shield in any direction so that you can actually defend yourself while also moving. She can um, jump up walls, she can slide down walls, she can use the shield as a shield, as you can see here, but she can also use it as a freaking, uh, what's it called? Zipline, which is amazing. Like, how do you zipline with a shield? You'll have to play to find out. Now, if you're looking for like a super meat boy experience where it's this hard as nails challenging platformer, this isn't for you. But if you are looking for a kind of story have a heavy platformer that you are able to get through just by merit of your your own puzzle solving abilities without having to consult on the internet, without having to feel frustrated because the game beats you down and doesn't give you any way to get back up, then this is the game for you. So, um Checkpoints are fair. Like I said, there are plenty of ways to change some of the gas gameplay so that you can actually make it um, fit to your skill level. It's a it's a game for gamers of any skill level. I feel like even youngsters could enjoy this because again, it's well written, it's well developed, and it's just an all around good time. Anyway, I've been Dawn from Need to Know Gamers. This was Even the Ocean. Check it out on PS4, Xbox. Um, Nintendo Switch or even PC if you haven't already. They also developed um, Anodyne, which was another well-known RPG, at least back when Nico and I played on Steam. That was a long, long time ago. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it, comment, subscribe, share it around, and stay in the know.